We are now inside Grand Prix. Grand Prix Montreal Formula One. We just went through an intensive wait in the downpouring rain to get through security. But now the rain has stopped. And now the rain has stopped Thank the for Lord a little bit. Heaven. We are going to stay for as long as we can without getting washed out. That's right. And we're going to show you the grounds. Andiamo. And we're back. We made it. <laughs> Passed through security. Got to go to the bathroom. We got here. And everybody is starting to take their rain ponchos off. Because the sky is not It's opening up. Raining anymore. All the vendors, all the food boots, all the beer joints. We're going to take you through here in a little bit. But we just want to show you what's going on right now. There's a grandstand behind you. We don't have grandstand tickets. We only have general admission tickets. But there is food, and there is F1 stores, and there is um, bars. There's toilets if you need that. And this place is massive. Hopping. This place has um, a couple of miles between the top of the racetrack and the bottom of the racetrack. If you're in a car, it would go by really quickly. But if you're on foot like us, let's see how we do. Off the Formula One race, got our 6,000 plus steps in, and look up. Look Beautiful, at this. Sunshiny day the now. rain finally stopped. After three hours for now. Shows. Yeah. We had some drinks around the racetrack, had a hot dog, and now we are going to make our way to the Metro toward the biosphere to go back to where we got some good pictures we parked yes we got plenty of pictures and we got some great video for you i can't wait to share that with you guys and we're gonna hit the food court where right we're here. parked and then we're gonna start making our way home but we've got some fun lined up for along the way andiamo all right we've arrived at sublaki bar coke zero and Look what we found. We found poutine. It's gonna make some chicken poutine. You can put them on the side. You want the olives? Yep. You have a little Glenn of is getting a gyro platter. Let's put them on the side. In the and look at the everything that you can put on your gyro platter right here. Here's the ticket. Glenn is not an olive person, so he's gonna put them on the side. But rumor has it that this is the best place for poutine in Montreal. Very good. Yeah. So, we're going to see how good they do. Look at that. Nice and easy, and he puts it all together. Woo! -hoo! And now we got to mix. Are you excited, Glenn? Some chicken. Some more chicken. Look at that. He's a pro. Look at that. Slamming it all together. I'm giving it to you. He's blushing because he knows he's on TV, <laughs> he's on camera. <laughs> All right. I'm excited. He's excited. Let's do this. Oh my word. I hope you brought your hungries. This is their chicken poutine, guys. They told me that they're the best poutine in all of Montreal. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know. Oh man. You have to take a picture of that for me. By golly. Excuse me. I think we have a winner for Montreal. Although, I shouldn't have picked chicken. I should have just picked the regular poutine or the pork poutine, but that's okay. 
I'll take it. I will take it. And he has his sublaki salad. salad with a mix of beef and chicken or pork and chicken. Well, how is it? Oh. Chicken's a little dry. I might need some more tzatziki sauce. That's exactly what mine is. Yeah. The chicken, it's dry. But that's okay. I'll make it work. And I will give these guys the best one in Montreal. Only because I love Greek food. We're going to eat. And then the adventure home begins. All right. We are now in the car. And making our way back to the US. We've got about a three hour ride. So I just thought we would show you some of downtown Montreal. Is this old Montreal or new? Mm, we're real close to old Montreal. Okay. Yeah. Nice shops, a lot of people out. The race is over. We're stopping one. What a great race. He beat all the competitors that we knew he was gonna beat. He is just unstoppable. Over here, got some more shops. Everybody's out. Everybody's enjoying Canada. Well, we had a great time at the race. We really did. In point one miles, turn right. Don't mind our guide. She's she's being bold today. Some cafe shops, jewelers, pharmacies. And of course, you got your cobblestone streets. All right, andiamo to Alexandria Bay. We've arrived at Captain's Inn in Alexandria Bay, New York. Decided to put our head down for the night so we can get a fresh start tomorrow morning. It's a nice little bedroom, king bed, refrigerator, television. Very tall, small bathroom. Hmm. Good place to just lay our head. You agree? All right. For 50 bucks, there's no stains on the carpet because there is no carpet. <laughs> just figured we would try to show you Bolt Castle that's behind the woods here. We were going to check it out tomorrow, but we want to get home. So instead, see what we can show you from here. Anything? From that side of the parking lot, I can see one end of the island. From this side of the parking lot, I can see the other end of the island. But I can't see the castle. That stinks. It's a cute little town here in Alexandria Bay, but... Me personally, I think it's something out of a horror movie. Sorry, not sorry. It's steep to walk down. Walk back down. Yeah, let's walk this way. There's not a lot of action going on. We're just here to lay our head. Our room was only 50 bucks. Cute little room, as we just showed you. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to poke around, probably get yelled at and get in trouble. But that's the life with Lucci and Glenn. Trouble's our middle name. They have these boat tours that go off all day long to take you out to the castle and back, which I think is pretty cool. They're probably going to get yelled at now saying, you're a blogger. Right. All right. Stay tuned. And there she is, Bolt Castle. There's a story behind Bolt Castle. Gentleman built it for his wife and something about one of them died. They didn't get to finish. That's why it took him so long to build it. Mm -hmm. So there it is. Old castle, everybody. Another successful day. It's the last day of vacation. But we made the most, most out of it. Oh, yeah, definitely. It was a little bit rainy at the race. Right. It was nice right up until we started to walk. Mm -hmm. Then it got to rain, and then it stopped, mm -hmm. and then it would rain again, and then mm -hmm. it would stop. But our um, driver, Max Verstappen, came through even in the yeah. rain. He and beat won Hamilton. The race. He beat Hamilton, he beat Russell, he beat Norris, Norris. and then the PIA guy. <laughs> Pisarki or something like that. He beat them all. 
Um, you don't mess with the king. <laughs> we were about two and a half hours from our parking space back to the United States. We got here um, quarter after eight. Yeah, something like that. And uh, found ourselves a small but clean hotel room to stay it's very in nice for in the here. night. It's not bad. Tomorrow we will wash our face and have a cup of coffee and hit the road. Back to work. Back to work. We should be back to work by lunchtime. Yeah, you bit, hope. A little bit after tomorrow. Unless I make you drag it. Uh-huh. You never know. <laughs> we might be able to get ourselves some Cortese pizza. <gasps> if the cards are right. Mm-hmm. Dude. That would be good, wouldn't it? That's going to be an episode all on its own. <laughs> so tune in tomorrow for another episode where we might eat some Cortese. Maybe. Cortese, they never described it like it was nah. a Detroit pizza, but I have a feeling it's like mostly like a Detroit pizza. So if you like this content, <sighs> hit the like button. Subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Tell us what you thought of our series. And tell at least one of your friends. Just to one. Come and we watch need 7,000. We're almost at 7,000 7, followers. <laughs> yes. And that's where we want to be. And you know what? We're not all about the views. A lot of our fellow. YouTube creators are getting thousands and thousands of views on the content, you know, and us, we've only been doing this for two years, so we're just starting out. So we appreciate it if one person we watches We go places stuff. and do things, and we if do. you want to see where we went and what we did when we you got know how there, to do it. come back and see us again. Bye, everyone. We'll Good see night. you in the next video.